Okay, so in my video testing out the Chrome Sword in the Mistlands, I started off by saying the Chrome Sword is an absolute unit. And while that's certainly true, I think the Demolisher is actually the weapon that deserves this description. Look at this thing. It's a giant fucking hammer. Now, I've never really been a sledge guy. I never built the iron sledge, and as far as clubs go, pretty much all my experience is very recent while testing the Frostner and the Porcupine. But I've heard great things about the Demolisher, so it's time to take it off its display and risk my life in the treacherous mistlands while hunting some seekers. It's demolishing time. Also, yes, I'm taking the Mistwalker with me, but it's only just in case. I don't really know what to expect with the Demolisher, so this is just a contingency plan. I do know the Demolisher is slow as hell, but we'll do our best not to actually use the other weapons, only the Sledgy Boy. In contrast to all my other videos, I immediately come upon a one-star Seeker, flanked by a regular Seeker. I immediately get to work with the Demolisher, and this thing hits so hard, I love the explosion that it produces every time you hit it, but obviously it's not going so well. I have seven health and I'm running for my life. I gain some stamina back and I turn around to fight and I just, I love how this thing knocks everything back and it seems to stagger enemies as well. But maybe not this one star seeker. I'm fighting for my life and then, yeah, I'm dead. The one star seeker has a lot of reach. And now something I'm very familiar with, the Naked Rescue Mission while dodging the One Star Seeker that just happens to still be there. And of course it's following me, but I'm sprinting as fast as I can to my gear. I get it back and I start putting it back on. I don't get all the way before the Seeker is back on me. I take the chance to make sure I get a little bit more on and then I'm back to attacking. It's not the best view because I don't have the Wisp Light on, but I'm still hammering away at this thing while it's trying to murder me horribly. So I take the chance to put the wisp light on so people can actually see what's going on. I take the risk, it's worth it. And now it's time to turn and fight. Let's take care of this regular seeker first, easy peasy, and then this one star, yeah. They were already pretty low health, but now they're very much dead. And that was quite the first encounter with the demolisher. And then, I seriously can't make this up, we have another one star seeker flanked by another regular seeker. So here we go, let's slowly try to whittle them down while I blow everything up around me. This thing hits so cool, I just love that shockwave that you can see. Now if you really notice the damage, it's not too crazy, but it's just it's oh, so cool. <laughs> Every hit is a giant explosion and it knocks everything back, so it's kind of a safe weapon if you th really think about it. It hits relatively hard and I just, I love how it knocks everything back because obviously Seekers have to get close to you. But they're dead, let's continue. Now what I'm finding is that this weapon does take some real getting used to. It takes a long time to actually swing it, but as I use it more, I am starting to get the hang of it. And I like how it actually staggers regular Seekers pretty easily, so I can take my time. At first right here, I thought it actually killed it completely in one hit, but it really just kind of pushed it back really far. And then I had to go around this ridge to try to kill this one. It was a bit of a tight spot, but it really didn't stand a chance. It wasn't moving. It was staggered the whole time. I'll take it. Seekers are pretty easy to find in the Mistlands. This one seemed like it was alone at first, but hey, look, it is actually very much not alone. One hit does blow it quite far back from this ridge, but it does come right back. And they try to flank me, of course, but they are not going to have a good time with that. Because, uh, yeah, I'm actually, I'm really starting to like this weapon. I love the knockback. I love that it gives me extra time because it staggers seekers. This is, this is a much more fun weapon than I expected it to be. I dropped down on this one from above, and I thought I was going to get the drop on it, but it actually saw me at the last second. But it doesn't really get a chance to do a whole lot because it's just really confused still, and now it's dead. The time finally came, it's a Seeker Soldier, and it roars, trying to intimidate me, but I've kind of got a roar of my own this time. This giant hammer that I'm going to keep shoving in its face. It does knock me back, it does get some hits in as I'm trying to figure out how to properly use this weapon against not a new enemy, but an enemy that I haven't used it against just yet. 
As you may have noticed, I actually don't have my rested bonus, so my stamina is slowly creeping back up. It's not coming back like it normally should. I got disconnected, and of course, when I reconnect, it just, I never get the rested bonus back. So I would have had to go all the way back home, and you know, I just figured, why not just keep trying it out? I'll struggle. And what a struggle it was indeed. I spent most of this time having practically no stamina, slowly walking around, blocking, and yeah, it just, it takes longer than it should have. So I'm gonna skip ahead just a little bit. Something right here that I do start noticing is that even from the front, right there, I'm seeing yellow damage. I know Seekers aren't weak to this particular kind of blunt damage, but I'm guessing that the sledge is so long that it's actually hitting the butt. That's where you would normally get yellow damage on one of these Seeker soldiers. So yeah, I guess the goal right here, I just block it and I get close enough and it just reaches back and yeah, yellow damage sometimes, but not all the time. And with one final blow after I gain some stamina, it falls at my feet in pieces. Here we have one jerk trying to fly around me and get the drop from above, but I block it and start attacking. But hey, look, I reveal another one who wants to join in the whole, you know, death thing. When you're trying to swap bugs, a hammer is probably a pretty good tool. It doesn't take long. I parry and these bugs are squished. Keeping with the theme of this video, as I'm fighting one seeker, another one decides to join and flank me from the side. It does get the drop on me, but it's not long before at least the original one's dead and I can focus on this new one. But of course, I have a giant hammer and this hammer blows things up. So let's go ahead and just murder this thing, shall we? Nice. This is a fun one right here. I hit the ground to intimidate them as they're flying from above, making them maybe think twice before attacking me, but of course they don't. They're just bugs. I just, I love how they're coming from two sides and I stagger them. I do have a dwarven friend over there and so I actually see the other one go to try to attack the dwarven friend. Uh, yeah, I don't want that. So I finished the previous one off real quick and uh, yeah, it's dead. But hey, look, a soldier wants to attack me. I'm not going to let it happen. I'm going to go ahead and take care of this thing. Try the reach around. It doesn't work. This weapon's way too slow. Then with a big backswing, I'm far enough forward to get some yellow damage. This battle, like most Seeker Soldier battles, goes pretty much the same. It's just a slow battle. I get some hits in, it gets some hits in, and yeah, eventually my weapon does end up breaking. I can't use it anymore, and sadly I can't use it to make the final hit. So I break out the Mistwalker, kind of glad that I brought it, and I finish the job. I'll be honest, the Demolisher impressed me. I really didn't expect to like this weapon, but I just, it's awesome. I expected it to be really slow, clunky, and just not do a whole lot of damage. And while the damage could have been better, it was awesome. It was so much fun to use. The knockback was great. The explosions, it's just, it's a fun weapon. So will I bring it all the time? Probably not, but it's definitely going to be in my rotation a lot more often. If you have an idea for what you'd like me to try out next, let me know. Like the video and subscribe if you feel like it. Thanks for watching.